Where did my smile go? 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 I don't know where your smile went. It's still right here. Hopefully nobody will take my things. Ah, look at that. Hopefully no one will take them. It's not nice to take people's teas. I get mad at God for trying to take people's teas. Jesus is going to take the ungodly teas one day. That's not very nice. Sometimes he says that. Sometimes he just wants them to gnash. Gnashing is like when your jaw tightens up because you've had too much coffee. So maybe the ungodly are people who drink too much coffee and their teeth start to tense up and grind. Maybe the ungodly are grinders. Not like a grinder that you eat and you don't want to eat a grinder if you're human unless it's a vegan grinder. Maybe coffee drinkers are in the ungodly. Maybe Colleen became ungodly when she started drinking coffee. Well, that would make a lot of sense. Okay. Well, let's do some help help. Self help. Self help. Because we have so much authority in self help. First step to self help is talking to yourself. Like I do. And making videos of yourself talking to yourself. And talking to yourself in the mirror is the best way to talk to yourself. Hey. Hi, self. Hi, self. Look at the smile on my nose. I like smile on my nose. But that's not really my nose. That's my upper lip. Oh, guess what? <laughs> I forgot I have Kleenex. It says something about guessing on it. Guessing the... I can't read. I... What? What? Guessand... Huh? Guessand... Gesundheit! Oh, Colleen doesn't know German. Colleen uses words that she doesn't know how to spell. Bless you! And Gesundheit. Do you know that when you say Gesundheit because you don't want to say bless you, Gesundheit actually really just literally translates to bless you? So you're saying the same thing. And I'm not just trying to say that so that you'll completely give up saying bless you or Gesundheit. I'm just saying that like, that like, even though you're trying to not say bless you, you're still saying Gesundheit. And did you know that people who created the words bless you, they weren't Christians anyway, so all of this whole anti-God that you're trying to promote is just a fabrication. You're just like going out of your way to be rude to people. And I know it's kind of strange to have people, I mean like, <laughs> if someone were to burp, you wouldn't say, good job unless you were in the medieval period, and then you'd be like, thank you for burping, because you just ate a mint to make yourself burp, so that you would, I don't like this video anymore. It's really boring. I don't think I followed the script. I don't think Colleen follows the script all the time, because there is no script. She just farted. Ew, that's gross. But that's another thing, like your body just does that. Bless you. Maybe when someone farts from now on, you should say bless you. Yeah, I think that's the point. I think that's the whole point of the video, is that sometimes we just arbitrarily make stuff up. Maybe it's not arbitrarily. Maybe it's just we're following society. Maybe because people have always said bless you, we just want everyone to say bless you. Maybe we watched the movie Singles when we were a kid, and because that lady, who was in point eight, by the way, she's amazing, she said that she liked a guy who said bless you when she sneezed. So because of that, we wanted someone to say bless us when we sneeze. And that's why we get very upset when a guy doesn't say bless you, if we like them. And because of that, that will stay for the rest of our life. Because it's rude not to say bless you. Or cuisine type when somebody sneezes. And that's just because society agreed on that. Society agrees on a lot of stuff. But next time you hear somebody fart, say bless you. Next time you hear somebody... Um, honk their nose on a big, loud Kleenex. They bless you. 
next time you see somebody pick their nose, and, well, I don't want to put it in my mouth, say bless you. Next time you see somebody smell their armpits, say bless you. Next time you see somebody um, burp, say bless you. No matter what, from now on, we're just going to say bless you. Everywhere we go, next time somebody says racist slur, say bless you. Next time says, so says Sam. Sam, don't let Sam get near me. Anyway, next time somebody says anything that is mean or disgusting, say bless you. If somebody tries to hit on you and you don't want them to hit on you, instead of saying F you, say bless you. Next time somebody puts you down, for any reason whatsoever, because your forehead is too big or your makeup looks like a clown, say bless you. Next time somebody tries to make you out to be the bad guy when you haven't done anything wrong, say bless you. Anytime somebody bullies you, instead of saying F you, say bless you. I think we should always just bless each other. It's part of turning the other cheek, but next time, if you don't like Jesus, you should still say bless you. I don't dislike Jesus, but he is the morning star, at least he said he was in Revelations, and that's just kind of crazy, because in the Old Testament, the morning star is Lucifer. Anyway, bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lucifer. Bless you, everyone. Bless everyone. Next time, where's my bells? Next time a bell rings, say bless you. Next time you light a candle, say bless you. Next time you pray, say bless you. I love praying, and when I pray, I say bless you. Next time your face looks like Madonna's, say bless you. Next time your face looks like Poppy's, it doesn't really look like Poppy's at all, but next time it does, say bless you. Next time somebody tries to make your ear grow, say bless you. Next time somebody hacks into your computer, say bless you. This is really long. The point is, bless you. Bless you all. Bless, bless, bless you. And bless the Kleenex. And bless Batman and Birdman and Birdwoman and Dove Warrior. Bless Dove Warrior. And bless the coffee. Thank you, coffee, for your blessings. I think the coffee has blessed me. I think the coffee blesses me very much. So thank you. Thank all of you for your blessings. And next time someone says anything, don't say F you. Just say bless you. Bless you. F you is for, for not me. And it's not nice to say F you is for losers. F you is for everyone if they want to say it. But bless you. It's for Colleen. Bless you. It's for me. Wherever you are. Next time somebody steals your man, just say F you. Really. I hate you. Just say F you. Or bless you. No, don't say bless you. You can say bless you for everything. Except when somebody steals your man. Then say. F you.